Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I've just got a Dollar Tree haul. It's not a very big one, but I did find a few uh, fall decoration and there's a couple Halloween in there. Um, this is from two different Dollar Trees. Um, the one nearest to me just today started getting out their Halloween and their fall decorations and they don't have it all out yet, but um, I'll just show you a few of what I picked up. So the first thing I'm going to show you is, it says, uh, Hello Fall, and it's just a pumpkin. It's got like burlap, it seems like this is burlap right here. Um, it just stands. That was really cute. It's got glitter. And the next thing I got is these witch's legs. I don't know what these are exactly. I, was, I got them because I was thinking about making a wreath, a Halloween wreath, uh, and to use these, but it looks kind of like it might be a doorknob hanger. Maybe you stick it on a doorknob. I don't really know, but it's really cute. They've got little, a little witch's feet, a little witch boots, and they had these in this green and black. They had orange and black, uh, purple and black. I believe that was it. Um, it does have some little bit of tooling it looks like right here. So anyway, I thought those are really cute. I picked up two of these um, LED light strings for Halloween. This one's purple. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. And this one's supposed to be orange when it lights up. So I thought these were a really good uh, Thing to have during Halloween time, and it looks like it come. It takes two AA, yeah, two AA batteries. So thought I'd give those a try. Uh, let's see, they have some of their signs out, and these are the cutest signs I think I've seen in a while. Um, these are more. These are for fall. They're not Halloween related, but this one it says gather together and it's on this particle board type stuff but the front of it looks like worn like it's distressed like that farmhouse kind of look so there's that one um, another one that I picked up it says thankful grateful and truly blessed and it's got the wording with the glitter and it's also got the distressed look kind of wood wooden distress look and there's this one and it says bless our home it's got the pumpkins on it this is raised I don't know if you can see with the lettering that it says um, bless our home is this, this part is raised and it looks like wood but it's not it's that faux wood just like a sticker to look like real wood but that's really cute and they had others to choose from but um, there's this one it says happy fall and I know everybody's probably going to go crazy for this because this seems to be the little farm truck seems to be the thing now I don't really care for this glitter I'm not a big glitter fan but I thought it was cute they had um, some that ha this is the kind of a goldish copper glitter color but they had some that were different colors uh, I can't remember off the top of my head what colors they had I think they had an orange one and I believe a brown a brown one and let's see the last thing I got that sort of fall inspired is uh, this pumpkin it's really steady or er, sturdy it's heavy it's got a tin leaf um, it seems like it might be made out of some sort of, I don't know, clay or something. It doesn't say on here what it's made of. Maybe a plaster? I don't know. But it's really cute and I like the white. They had different colors. They have green. Um, and I believe they had a, like an orange one with some gold accents on it. Of that. I thought this is really cute. Uh, it's a placemat and it says blessed. 
It looks like a chalkboard. It looks like chalkboard writing, but it's a placemat. Um, I don't. I'm not using this for to, as a placemat on my table. I may use it as maybe to hang it on my wall as a picture, or but maybe get a frame somehow and and fix it up that way. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I just thought it was cute and I liked that, so I got it. And here's something else that I know I've seen a lot of people on the Dollar Tree hauls on YouTube do. And they were all going crazy for them. And I actually kind of like them. They're really cute. Um, I picked up six of these. And since I bought these, which I went to the Dollar Trees a few days ago. I've just been holding these back waiting to do this video. But uh, I did go back today and there was none left. So if you find these and you're interested in these and you want them, I would suggest getting them because they won't be there whenever you go back. But there are these cotton stems and I have to say they are pretty good quality for the Dollar Tree. So I got six of them. I did pick up six of them. But anyway, I thought those were a good deal. It's a lot cheaper than going to Hobby Lobby and they're pretty much the same quality as Hobby Lobby. I mean, obviously Hobby Lobby is going to be a little more classy, but these are still nice. I like them. Uh, let's see. I got this notebook. It says grateful, thankful, and blessed. It's black and it's got gold lettering. And then down here is looks like wood, like a wood grain. But it's a notebook. I think that is really cute. Um, it says 60 sheets, notepad. So yeah, I thought that was cute. Kind of farmhousey. I got a, a desk pad with a pen, and it says "Always be humble and sweet." It looks like wood up here also. It's got a little ink pen that matches. So that was really cute. And then I got this one. It's a magnetic notepad. It's got 50 sheets and it says happiness is homemade. And it looks like this. It's got the magnet on the back so you can stick it on the refrigerator. And I use these all the time. There is always one on my refrigerator because I use it to jot down notes to my husband or to my kids or to make grocery lists when we're out of something. Just write it down there. Um, I got this book and it was normally sold at Target, but I got it for a dollar. It's called Dangerous Deception. Um, I have never read it. I don't know. It's uh, the Beautiful Creature series. I thought I'd give it a try, but for a dollar, that's pretty good. I don't know if it has on here what it normally retails. Oh, US $19. So, for a dollar. Maybe it's good, and if it's not, I only spent a dollar and I can donate that to my library. Um, the next thing, that was all the the good fun stuff. Now there's just uh, some things that I ran out of. But um, it's this Pure Silk uh, spa, ther spa Therapy Shaving Cream for Sensitive Skin. Um, the scent is supposed to be soothing botanicals to calm the skin. Um, but if you happen to find these at your Dollar Tree, get them because it is a name brand. It's Pure Silk. Um, it was only a dollar, but this is really good stuff. I've are, I've purchased this before. Um, the Dollar Trees don't always have the Pure Silk, and I have bought the Dollar Tree brand, uh, and it's not as good. And it, actually, the the last can of shaving cream that I bought from the Dollar Tree that was their brand, for some reason, I couldn't get it to come out it was just runny stuff that came out of it so that was a waste but definitely get the pure silk it's not a very big bottle sorry guys my camera cut off uh, so anyway what I was saying was um, it was just about the pure silk uh, shaving cream it's only a five ounce but it is really good so if you do find it go ahead and pick it up because it's good um, the next thing I have is um, I know it's kind of funny but it's trash bags and Honestly, these are really good trash bags. That you get uh, ten in here. They're for a 13-gallon. Um, 
they have the handles and they're vanilla scented and they are really good they do actually fit my trash can which most of the other trash bags that I buy from like Walmart or Dollar General or someplace they don't really fit they say they're 13 gallon but for some reason the trash bag likes to fall down into the trash can um, and these don't do that these actually stay up where they're supposed to the only thing that I don't like about these is they do leak so if you've got any kind of liquid don't put it in here pour the liquid out first before you throw anything away because they do leak but other than that you know for a dollar they're pretty good um, let's see here uh, these are the last three things that I have and they are uh, t-shirts um, I don't know what brands they are there isn't anything on here telling me what brand it is um, but they were only a dollar and my husband is a welder so he is always burning holes in his clothes and you know for a dollar if he burns holes in them then it's not so bad um, so anyway I got uh, a red one and these are actually pretty good pretty good t-shirts that um, they're hundred percent cotton so yeah got him a red one um, I also got him this blue it's sort of a bluish gray color Got him that, and I did pick up one for my son, and it's just a, a gray, a gray, plain old gray t-shirt. But anyway, yeah, so I um, want to thank you for watching, and um, if you'd like to, you can like this video, subscribe. I know I've only got one other video on here, but it's been really chaotic around here lately, and um, I am trying, so... Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you'd like to, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.